Digital Gaming Cruise here today. I'm going to do an unboxing video. Really excited about this. My second monitor. But anyways, going to do an unboxing. This time, I bring the Zeus monitor screen. It's 24 inch, 1920 by 1080p, full HD 1080p. Uh, the contrast ratio is 80 million to 1. And the uh, 1 millisecond response time. So that's good. And it has two HDMI inputs, one VGA and one DVI. So let's get ready to unbox it. All right. So that's the back, the back, the back cover, and then the front cover is the same. So I'm not even going to turn it around. All right. So let's get into it. And if you're wondering where I'm putting it, I'm going to put it right behind the box. So because I have my other monitor on the other screen, so it should be looking good. Uh, I'm going to be using it as a second screen for my laptop. So, it should be, it's just the same specs as my BenQ. If you guys watched my previous video, I have a BenQ. Same specs, the only difference is the contract ratio. Um, the contract ratio for the BenQ, I think it's 12 million to 1. So, really excited to see the difference between the monitors next to each other and see which one I like better. I mean, I could switch. I don't think I will switch my BenQ though. It's for my um, gaming monitor. But uh, give me a second, I'm gonna put this to the side. You guys can enjoy that view. All right guys, so basically what I did, I just slide everything out of the box. Um, there's still some, let's see. Alright, let me show you exactly what, on, what was on top. So this, this is on top. I'm going to put that so you guys can have a visual. If you guys do ever decide to get this, how it looks. So this is like this, and then this is like that. So that's everything in the box, and let's open it and see each item. Let's see. So this is the, I want to say the base, the one you put underneath. Oh, the stand. This is like the stand, I believe. So that's that. Uh... I'm going to leave the plastic on for a sec. Alright, so the next thing. Let's see. Brick. The brick. Alright, this looks like HP brick. Alright, Zeus. Yep. And what's the other part? AC adapter. Alright. So. I'm going to do this real quick. So we plug this in here, plug this to the wall, the other side of the monitor, sweet. All right, next. All right, and it comes with the guides. A Zeus VIP member notice. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, and this is the guide for, oh, the quick start guide. That's what it is. So I'll be looking at that for a sec because I need, to look, I need to know how to put the stand together. But anyways, go to the next step. This is the... Looks like a mic cable from like, I don't know. Um, hold on, I don't know what that is. All right, so this is the, I don't even know why I'm opening this. I, I don't wanna open this cause I'm not even gonna use it, but this is the DVI cable. It should be the DVI cable. And this is the, maybe this is the DVI cable. I'm not sure, I always get them confused. But one is a DVI cable, and is it a VGA cable? Does it come with a VGA cable? Okay, got it. This is the VGA cable, because I know what the VGA cable looks like. So this is the VGA cable, and then this is the DVI cable. So, don't really need to open it, because, right, if you guys, because I don't want to open it, because I'm not even going to use them, okay? I'm not going to open it, so. I use HDMI to HDMI, so. Uh, but this one, what is this? So, I guess it's just a... Uh, for the audio, I don't know. So, put that to the side. All right, so let's get to the monitor now. Not waste any time, let's see this. So hopefully, this doesn't fall on me. Uh, pretty scary, I don't wanna drop it. Should I do it this way? I should do it this way, actually. And then, just like that, slide it out, right? All right, so it's not heavy, as much as my BenQ, I believe. I think my BenQ is a little bit heavier than this. Alright, take the plastic off. So, as you guys can see, there it is. And then the specs on the right side. That's the model number if you want another model number. 
I do also have the description underneath, so if you guys want to check that out, you can see the specs on the website. This is the back cover. Alright, the DCIN. Uh, I guess that's where you put the AC adapter and the power, yeah. Uh, 1 HDMI, the 2 HDMI input. The VGA. Oh, that's the green, um, what was it called? Uh, uh, yeah, that's where you put the gear. Oh, look at that, it has a headphone jack. Wow, really cool. And the stand. So all I need to do is uh, fix the stand. But this is actually a pretty nice design, the back of it. It reminds me of carbon fiber, so that's pretty cool. So let me put this like this for a sec. And hopefully it doesn't fall. It doesn't fall. And then I'm gonna put the uh I'm gonna put the stand real quick. Alright guys, so for the stand, all you need is this. And we just let's take the plastic off now. So can fingerprints on it. Alright. So now you have to have it laying down, of course, and then just put this with this. Uh let me show you. With that uh thingy. So put that there and then we just twist the bottom. Should be this one. Just twist it and it should um close. So uh, let's see. Let's try it, right? Alright. I don't know if you guys can see that. Alright, so basically that and then just twist it. So I'm gonna show I'm not gonna show it because it's just this. Alright, so I'm twisting it, I'm still twisting it. Making sure it's tight enough. Not that tight though. And then just push it down so it should end up looking like this now it's good so let's set it up and i did notice that it could go 90 degrees so if i'm correct this should hold on hold on hold on how is it again is it this way it's not supposed to be that way hold on Right, let me take the plastic off. I should have taken the plastic off first. Right, take the plastic off for its use, and I'll turn it around. So it looks way better like that. Um, let me turn it around real quick. All right, so that's the back of it. Uh, I'm gonna take this off. I should have taken that off. All right, I'll worry about that later. I'm trying to make this. I don't want to break it. You know, I think I might have. I think. I might have had put it at wrong if I'm correct, <laughs> but let's let's just take the plastic off for now. All right, take this off, take that off, take everything off. See how good it looks with the plastic off, of course. All right, so take off the plastic on the front. And then I just need to take off that plastic. I'm really worried about the stand though. Huh, can't figure it out. All right. All right guys, I'm back and guess what? I cannot figure out how to switch the angle. I know I'm a noob. I've tried everything. I looked it up, I searched it. I don't know how. So if somebody can help me and just put a comment underneath so I can figure out how to do this angle because I don't want my monitor to be like this. I want it to be like my BenQ straightforward. But anyways, in the meantime, I will plug it in and I will show you guys uh, side by side how it looks with the BenQ compared to the BenQ. I have my PS4 on my BenQ monitor and I'll have my PC on the Asus monitor. And it's not going to be like, I mean, you're not going to be able to tell the difference because it's a different image, but we'll just see like which one has like, you know, the better picture quality, but it's gonna be different. If um, so, basically, I'm just gonna plug it in. So I'll be back. I'm gonna have it plugged in, and I'll show you guys what's up. All right, guys. So I have everything set up. I have my laptop connected to the, the Zeus monitor. I have the BenQ ready to show you with the PS4 on. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, show you the start when I turn on the monitor. So let's boot it up. There's a button underneath. Uh, so all the buttons are underneath, and it's like I said, a Zeus, and then my laptop screen, HDMI 1 input. Um, sorry if I can't figure out how to, you know, put the stand correctly with the angle that I really want. I know it's possible, I just don't know how. But anyways, that's how it looks. So, I'm going to turn on the BenQ monitor, which is right by it, and show you the difference. So that's the BenQ monitor. Let me turn it on. Uh, let me 
move the Aziz monitor to the side a little. Or back it up at least. Uh, oh, I move it like this for a sec. Alright. So yeah, so that's the PS4. Uh, my PS, my BenQ is kind of bright right now. Uh, I did change some settings on it, so maybe that's why. I do have to fix the settings on the Zeus monitor as well. But when I do, I will... Well, let me try to find... I don't have a picture. I just have a picture of myself, but... Oh, uh, maybe... How about... Because this picture is, like, really bright, but... But that's the best I can do. So that's the picture of the exoskeleton with the guy in the background. Um, and of course the flash on the camera does make it a little bit worse, I guess. But yeah, but that's the... Just to compare how it looks. They're the same inches. So 24 inches, 1080p, full HD. The only difference is this is 80 million to 1 contract ratio. And that's 12 million to 1. But anyways, in the future I will try to do review or a comparison between these two. To see which one I like better. But... Yeah, but anyways, the whole point of this video is the unboxing video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I think it's one of my best. I favorite it. If you, and if you want to keep up to date with me, then subscribe. But if you guys have any comments about um, the ratio, I mean not the ratio, but comments about the monitor, Zeus, um, write a comment underneath and I'll reply as soon as I can. Yeah. What else? I think that's it. We summed it up. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.